In Brevard County now, FEMA is still getting an idea on the flooding and the damage caused from Ian. Most of the high water is from the overwhelmed St. John's River Basin. West Jews Scott Heidler visited a business on the riverbank in the southern part of the county. Owners hope the water will go down soon. The swollen St. John River here flows north, traveling up to the worst hit part of Brevard County. Camp Holly has been here since the 1920s. Its boat dock is underwater. They're hoping that the worst part is behind them, but that's far from certain. That's what we've all been looking for is when is it going to peak out on us? But you know, about every 10 years we see it like this. It's, uh, it's gotten worse over the years. Beyond the obvious hazards of high water, veteran boaters also need to be careful because the waters they've been used to for years are completely different. Curtis McKinney grew up on this stretch of the St. Johns River. But when you throw another three or four water, foot of water on top of that, then all of your uh, markers and your locations and the little trees and stuff that you look for, uh, they're no longer there. It's, it's even different to me. The camp's main draw are the airboat rides. They're still running, but they had to pull back on some of their haunted nighttime rides, but hoping the river will crest soon so they can get them going in time for Halloween. In Melbourne, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.